Hey guys, it's Alan here, and today I'm bringing you my first commentary video, and I'll be looking at Tormented Demons, and giving a bit of information on how you can be killing them uh, in the Evolution of Combat update. Here you can see my uh, equipment and my inventory. I'm using dual wield crossbows and dual wield rapiers along with pretty much the stuff I used before the update which is bandos and armadillo and broad bolts. You can see the invents pretty straightforward. So in my first uh, clip you'll see me killing the Stormenta Demon using the momentum ability which is the ability that allows us to not have to sit and pay constant attention to the screen we don't have to you know, be pushing all the buttons or the keys on our keypad to uh, fire off the abilities which before momentum was released was basically what you had to do you couldn't sit back and kill like you did before the update uh, momentum the ability is found under the hit points section of the abilities and once you fill up the adrenaline bar which doesn't take long maybe 10, 30 seconds, sort of that region, depending on which abilities you, uh, you, you mash on your keyboard. You then just click on the ability for momentum and you've got 20 minutes before it wears off. However, if you click another ability in that time, it cancels it out. Um, it's basically like killing it before the update. It's very, very similar. The only difference is, is the weapons I'm using which seem to be killing it faster but in reality it's really not uh, about two minutes and a half maybe for a kill uh, the dark light hits much more regularly though I'm hitting almost first hit every kill which is kinda nice because I remember before sitting there and just waiting and waiting for it to hit sometimes but other than that there's very little difference TDs really are dead content now because their drops are completely irrelevant. Dragon Claws are now utterly hopeless as far as I can tell. Unless they're given some sort of ability similar to the um, God Swords. Jagex have um, they've given abilities similar to the special attacks which I don't know that I, I miss the special attacks that's why I played this game but at the same time at least they are listening to our feedback which is kinda nice although they've only done it to the god swords leaving a lot of other weapons like dragon claws completely I think they're selling for about two mil in the G so really they have supposedly given the dragon limbs as a drop to TDs I haven't had any I was only here for a few kills just to test and then do this video but they're selling for 10 mil in the GE and I expect for the next few weeks they'll be quite high until they settle the dragon crossbow itself selling well, is GE price of 100k see I got some claws there whereas the limbs are 10 mil so I expect Jagex are kind of expecting it to settle at around maybe 6 mil, 5 mil, not really sure so now in these clips I'm killing the Tormented Demons using the abilities and ability bar which I kind of expected to be better because obviously momentum was sort of put in place as a compromise for the people that really wanted uh, to be able to play RuneScape as it was before this update who really didn't like the beta, who didn't want the evolution of combat. I'm one of those people, I don't mind it, I'd really rather be able to play RuneScape as it was before, but with momentum, everything I've done so far, you can pretty much do everything you did before, except the special attacks, but bosses seem to be a heck of a lot easier, or certain bosses, meaning that really you, there's no need to pull out special attacks. I can imagine that sort of if you're free falling, it might be a bit annoying, but other than that, um, t the the abilities really aren't any quicker here. I found that I was getting kills in pretty much exactly the same time, and I was having to pay more attention, which really isn't any better. 
I would much rather use momentum, I'm going to say that. But the abilities are quite a lot of fun if, if you don't mind sitting and really paying attention to the screen. I didn't mind it, I was just here for a few kills, I wasn't here for hours, I'm not money making, I'm not hunting any of the new drops or anything. But eventually, if you've got to sit there and you've got to keep your hand on your buttons on the mouse, I mean I've got a laptop so it's not exactly comfortable, I know I can use my mouse to click. But essentially, either one works, do whatever you feel happy with. You can see that the uh, action bar is open, I've got a range of abilities, I'm not sure which are best here. That's what I was here sort of testing. Some of them worked really well, some of them barely hit. But I got bigger hits but less consistent hits with the action with the action bar basically. It was nice to be able to use my weapons in there and stuff so that I didn't have to um so I didn't have to keep on changing between prayer and invent. But other than that Really, there wasn't really any difference, and I'd be much happier just using the, uh, the momentum, I think. But that's completely opinion based. What you guys want to do is what you guys want to do. The gear that I used was more than good enough, and I'm sure that people will find better and faster techniques. I didn't use a Steel Titan, as you might have seen. But even so, there's really very little difference to killing them before and I got lucky getting the drop but I would say it's not good money thank you guys for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and that it was helpful please feel free to like and subscribe both me and Sean will be bringing you lots of videos hopefully looking at more of the updates to bosses and other things in the EOC over the next few weeks